Here is a team from the Cooper City Church of God at Miami International Airport getting ready to depart for Paraguay. Paraguay is located in South America between Argentina, Bolivia, and Brazil. It is the poorest nation in South America. Its population is 4.8 million people. Ascension is the capital city with a population of more than 600,000 people. Here are Paul and Rhonda Stocker, the missionary couple that we went to visit. I met them 11 years ago when they first went to Paraguay, fresh out of Church of God Theological Seminary. Through the years, we followed the ministry of the Stalkers and all the things that the Lord has done. But one ministry that really stands out is the children at the garbage dump. The Lord is doing something really special there, and it wasn't until we had seen it for ourselves that we realized the significance of this ministry and what the Lord is doing for these children. And you have to know the whole story in order to fully appreciate it. Here's where these children live, a shanty town surrounding the garbage dump. They play in the dump while their mothers rummage through the dump looking for recycled materials to sell. The trash in this yard is being bagged so it can be sold to recyclers. It is common to see men traveling around donkey carts collecting recyclable material. This man was happy to invite us in his home, which was no more than a two-room shack. These are the poorest of the poor. After all, aren't those the ones that we're commissioned to reach out to? Jesus says in Matthew 11:5, the blind see and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Psalm 72 verse 4 says, He will bring justice to the poor of the people. He will save the children of the needy. He will break in pieces the oppressor. Rhonda began reaching out to these families about 10 years ago. It started out as a kids club, then a feeding program and a shack with a dirt floor and tin roof, then a daycare, and now a school giving instruction through the second grade. This new school building is a miracle. The name of the school, Centro Educativo Coeju, is written on their shirts. It's the Guarne word for rising sun. Paraguay is the only nation in South America which has two national languages. This school has been accredited by the Paraguayan government for instruction through the ninth grade. The goal is to win these children to the Lord, disciple them, and give them a high school education so that they can leave the dump as young adults and live as sanctified, productive citizens in middle-class neighborhoods in Asuncion. These children can be future community leaders and ministers of the gospel. Therefore, the Stalkers plan to add a grade a year as their budget allows them to. In Paraguay, education is compulsory. The government provides public schools, but you have to pay to send your kids there. This includes monthly tuition, supplies, and uniforms. So what happens is that these poor children end up not going to school, and their parents send them out to panhandle money or sell trinkets on street corners at the tender ages of four, five, and six years old. This young boy is about nine or ten years old. He washes car windshields at red lights for a handout. If it wasn't for this ministry, these children would have no future at all, only an expectation of extreme poverty and misery. If a child is accepted into this school, they pay nothing. They receive all books and school supplies needed. Medical care, two uniforms, including underwear and shoes, and complete daily nutrition, including breakfast, a mid-morning snack, lunch, and a mid-afternoon snack. The only requirement to admit a student is that he or she is destitute. Most of the children that attend the school live in the dump area. Not only the children at the school are ministered to, but their families as well in a variety of ways. This school could easily become a for-profit school and charge tuition, but then they wouldn't be fulfilling their calling to reach out to the poorest of the poor. When this school was inspected by the government officials for occupancy, it was rated excellent with regard to the building and the curriculum. They used the Spanish version of the Christian curriculum, a Becca books called Libros Aguila, one inspector commented that this school was the best she had ever seen. To God be the glory. And the best part of all is the poor have the gospel preached to them. These dear children are the future of Paraguay. And you can help them. First, by praying for this ministry. Second, by giving to this ministry. Proverbs 28, 27 says, He who gives to the poor will not lack, but he who hides his eyes will have many curses.